This is Carl, a design engineer here at AgriFab. He is going to help us replace the gearbox on our 110 pound tow spreader. The only tools you'll need for this repair is a pair of pliers, a 7 16 inch wrench, and a half inch wrench. During this video, we'll be referencing lefts and rights as if you were looking at the logo of the spreader while it is upside down being repaired. The first thing we want to do is remove the agitator pin from the bottom of the hopper. Then, remove the pin holding the spreader plate to the gearbox assembly. Remove the pin from the right wheel of the spreader. This allows us to take off the washers, wheel, and spacer from the axle. For the left wheel, remove the axle pin on the inner side of the wheel. Again, removing the washers, wheel, and spacer from the axle and setting them aside for reassembly. Moving to the left side of the spreader, we'll need to remove the two bolts attaching the left support leg to the hopper. Directly above that support leg, remove the bolts attaching the crossbar to the hitch tube right below the axle. To the right of the axle, we'll remove the bolt attaching the other side of the crossbar to the hitch tube. Optionally, you can also not remove, but loosen the support leg bolt right below the axle as well. Come back to the left side of the toe spreader and slide the hopper support leg off of the axle. Before removing the gearbox, take note of the orientation of the gearbox. Referencing this view, you'll want the gearbox axle pin facing the left. We can now pop the gearbox assembly out from the hopper and slide the axle out from the hopper leg. To get to the gearbox, remove the spreader plate and crossbar. During this time, you'll be able to replace the old bushing in the crossbar with a new one. Place the crossbar and spreader plate onto your new gearbox. We can also secure the spreader plate to the gearbox with a new pin. Place the gearbox back into the hopper and slide the axle back into the hopper leg, making sure the gearbox pin is facing the left. Slide the left hopper leg back into the axle, securing the crossbar around the hitch tube and the hopper leg. We can now loosely fix the hopper leg back into place. With this support secured, we can move to each side of the crossbar, replacing the bolts we removed earlier. We can now tighten all bolts on the crossbar and hopper leg. With our frame reassembled, place the washers, spacer, and wheels back onto the axle, securing them with new pins in the axle. Once everything is back into place, put the agitator pin back into the hopper and we're done. 